Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. This is going to be a garden tour of a neighbor that's in an adjoining neighborhood uh, to mine. Uh, this is a really beautiful uh, landscape, uh, uh, landscape front yard. That's all I'm going to show you on this one. I may come back and do the backyard. It's just as beautiful, but there's a lot of little details in this front yard uh, that I want to show you. Uh, this is another uh, house that has a no lawn and in, in the uh, half the front yard is uh, dedicated to perennials and really interesting uh, ornamental shrubs and, uh, and trees, some of which are still blooming. It's November 1st. Uh, it's supposed to be super cold in the next couple days. So I think some of these things are going to get uh, knocked back. So I wanted to shoot this one uh, pretty right now. Uh, but let me uh, walk you around real quick and show you some of these details. Um, I think you'll be super impressed with this one. So here's the entrance into the driveway and they've actually got a, a pea gravel uh, driveway right here, which I think is great for um, allowing water to penetrate uh, the ground. There's really no hard surface uh, that was done on this uh, property. So uh, the water that is uh, um, falling onto the ground is gonna be able to get into the ground. Uh, the neighbor here has some really nice uh, encore azaleas and some oak leaf hydrangeas right here on the edge of this uh, retaining wall that divides the property on that side. Uh, you have this really nice uh, light um, feature right when you uh, get here. I try not to show people's addresses, so um, that's some of my camera work. <laughs> uh, uh, if, if you ever see that, um, me doing weird stuff with the camera, it's really me trying to hide people's addresses and that kind of thing. There's an Elysium right here. This is a uh, Southeast native, and here we are at the beginning of November, and it's just loaded up with flowers. I really love uh, Florida Elysium. It's an evergreen. Deer won't eat it. Uh, great, great plant. Um, you got this entry uh, sidewalk leading up to the house right here. Uh, right out here at the road, you can park out at the road here. Uh, there's this really nice uh, paver area as well. I'll do the road area first here. There's some beautiful hellebores. Uh, this is liriope right here, likely a silver dragon. Uh, really nice. Uh, there's not a big giant liriope fan, but um, if I was gonna have one, Silver dragon would be it. There's more hellebores here, and then more of the silver dragon. Uh, this uh, tree up here is a uh, Kusa dogwood, and I'm going to uh, come around here and show you the fruit on one of these right there. Oh, I just knocked that one off, but there's a strawberry fruit right there. Really attractive uh, on these. Uh, okay, got to get a shot of the... Uh, um, Japanese maple with the uh, yellow foliage there. Uh, this quince has uh, decided to do a little blooming around November. These typically bloom. Um, I don't know what variety this is. Maybe Cameo uh, is that pinkish red one maybe. Uh, there's some irises here, of course, that would have bloomed earlier. This gentleman actually owned this uh, property on the left, lived in this house first. And uh, so the, the landscapes kind of blend together here, which is kind of interesting. There's a really nice uh, dwarf. Um, uh, Encore azaleas, I think these are autumn fire in all likelihood. You see how red that is? And they're still blooming here near November. Big collection of them. I mean, there's probably 10 or 15 of them. There's an Edgeworthy or a paper bush right there. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go back around uh, to this side. Um, over here, there's some Creeping Jenny that's just been newly planted there. Uh, you see that um, coming along here. It'll be a perennial here uh, outside, some daylilies. Uh, right here, there's some columbine here. It's about to uh, to go to sleep, and some some heuchera, uh under here. This is um, this is a shady yard. This uh, oak, you can see the diameter of this oak here in front of me. It must be uh, I, I don't know. It's probably four feet wide uh, just in front of me. I don't know what that makes the diameter, but it's a crazy big uh, oak that kind of dominates the landscape. This is a, a variegated Daphne. And I have covered this on my channel, but these bloom in the uh, late winter. Uh, they're thinking about uh, budding up right now. And this is the most fragrant uh, evergreen ornamental shrub in the world. This is just one of my, everybody's favorites, honestly, when that thing's blooming. A little tough to grow. I think this uh, oak um, is probably helping it out, probably drying the area out. And I'll show you something else here. This is a variegated Pachysandra right here. And we usually have a hard time growing Pachysandra in this area and I think this soil just drains really well and that oak dominating the landscape uh, helps it as well because we, we end up drowning uh, Pachysandra generally. Uh, there's another hellebore there. There's some beautiful poet's laurel 
right here. Those of you who aren't familiar with Poets Laurel, I've never, I haven't actually done, I don't know if I've done a video on Poets Laurel, but you can see these berries that form on these uh, in the fall. It's another beautiful little low growing shade, evergreen shrub right there. Nice cluster of those. Come back around. Here's some more Carex. I've shown this um, in several videos, how these can really brighten up a shady space. Uh, there's some hosta varieties here. Of course, it's late in you know it's November. These these are going to get knocked back to the ground here in the next couple of days. There's a newer planted uh, Edgeworthia right there, a paper bush. Uh, it's quite beautiful. There's a uh, Epimedium here, right there. That's a low low growing perennial. Uh, that's pretty neat and orderly. Um, let's get to this other side. There's a native azalea uh, right here. Sorry, my shadows. Uh, in the way right here. This is a native um, azalea. These are these will bud up right now and they get a really nice cluster. Some are fragrant, some aren't. I don't know what variety this would be, but these uh, bloom in kind of mid spring and uh, they'll lose it's, it'll lose its leaves here in the next few days. But uh, uh, gotta love deciduous azaleas. Swinging around from that, uh, there's a Hinoki cypress right here on the corner. It's really uh, that's a nice uh, specimen of a dwarf Hinoki cypress for sure. I don't know how long that thing's been there, but it's a really nice plant. This porch is beautiful, uh, vertical siding on it, stone columns. Then there's uh, Camellia japonicas here. These are the, uh, see the bud on that. Don't know what color these are, but they're, uh, they're beautiful. There's three of them here along the uh, edge of the porch right there. This may be hard to see because the sun's sneaking in. The neighbor here has a, uh, a row of uh, Elysium right there uh, as a screen. There's another one of these Camellia japonicas. And where the uh, where it adjoins here, there's some cast iron plants right there. There's another uh, another variegated Daphne, and it's actually a different variegation uh, on it. And uh, I think I missed it. There's some variegated Solomon seal out here, which I said in another video, honestly, um, kind of can take over an area, and that's what it's doing right there. Uh, pretty quickly and then uh, without hurting the plants in here. Let me go over here and show you there's still some there's some hydrangea paniculatas that have bloomed here. These typically like a little more sun than this but whatever variety this is is doing doing pretty well. Then there's another uh, that Edgeworthia right there uh, that'll bloom in the uh, late winter and then uh, right here I didn't show this from the uh, street side that's a uh, Euonymus right there. That's a native Euonymus. So thank you very much for watching this uh, tour video um, as I continue to uh, knock on random neighbors' doors. I think this is a beautiful example of a uh, shade uh, landscape here with some interesting pieces that I haven't shown on the channel uh, before. I'm going to come back and uh, shoot a video in the backyard as well. There's some more interesting things uh, in that area. Uh, thanks again for watching this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going to continue to do these uh, tour videos and I'll come back to this in the uh, spring and show you what it looks like when some of these, uh, especially these late winter flowering things, there's several things in here that will actually be blooming in February and March, which is interesting because his yard will come back to life way before uh, a lot of others. Thanks for watching.